Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Gray BTC and I am a cryptocurrency trader. In this video, I will be going through the process of growing a small account. So this has been one of the most fuming questions that I get in my DMs almost all the time. Hey Gray, how do we grow a small account, small account, small account? And I have made several videos before showing you guys um, trading live and say, look, how to uh, to make, for example, $200 profit daily from a $500 budget. But today I want to bring it even lower than that. I want to start from an absolute small account and share with you guys the principles, the strategy and the approach for doing that, because it is definitely possible. <laughs> Most people don't know this, but in trading, if you had to start with $30, for example, and you had to make 30% uh, profit and you trade for 30 days straight and each and every day you're making, or let's say you just make 30 trades. Uh, at the end of those 30, 30 trades, you could actually end up with $52,000 plus. Why? It's compounding. So trading is, um, trading capital is compounding because, you know, you, st you would start with $10 if you make a five bucks out of the ten dollars, well, now you have fifteen fifteen dollars profit. And especially if you use leverage, you just get access to a lot more capital and on and on. But then obviously your risk increases, not in numbers, but obviously in dollar values. So let's talk about uh, let's talk a little bit about that uh, in a second. Um, and by the way, I trade cryptocurrency purely. And if you're new to this channel, you're more than welcome. We celebrate you. Uh, be part of this channel by subscribing to the channel and liking this video. And if you don't trade cryptocurrency at all, some of you are probably uh, Forex traders that hit me up and they're like, oh, I do trade Forex. How can I get started with crypto? Basically, to do this, what I'm going to share in this video, you need basically three things. You need a little bit of capital. I'll tell you the amount. And you also need a trading platform, what we call an exchange. In crypto, we don't use brokers. We use exchanges because it's just better. So I will be using Bybit as the exchange for trading. Link to Bybit is down in the description. Make sure you use my link to sign up or to download the app. Uh, number three, you need a TradingView account. TradingView is a platform that allows you to draw charts. Uh, to, and it's basically a data platform for trading. You get all the uh, the information you need on TradingView to analyze historical data and price action of different markets. But in this, obviously, we're focusing on cryptocurrency. So the idea of growing a small account for most people is that, okay, I start with $20. Can I turn it into $100,000? The answer is yes, you can. But how plausible that is, it's now a whole different question. And it's not that it's actually difficult to do that. It's not like, it's not like there are no trades, especially in crypto where I trade. Uh, in cryptocurrency, opportunities are basically everywhere. Everywhere the opportunity, the price actions are much larger than anything else you can trade out there. It's just a very volatile market. But obviously the trader gets involved. You know, their emotions uh, or the lack of emotional control, that is gets involved and then it just makes it a little more difficult to trade because a lot of people look at the volatility they forget that this volatility also affects the volatility of the traders emotions so basically the first step you want to do is to put together a process if you want to grow a small account if you want to grow a small account you need to be more uh you need to be more extreme when it comes to uh, strategy and discipline than someone who is trading with a huge amount. Why? Well, because for every small amount of drawdown that you get as a small trader, you're more likely to get wiped out. So I will show you guys on my screen shortly um, some of the parameters you can put together to protect yourself. But basically, if someone is trading with $30, even if it's at the, even if you trade at uh, isolated mode, it's still very, very close to get wiped out. Now, compare this to these two people, right? Someone who has $5,000 in their portfolio, but they choose to use only 1% of their capital to trade. 
And now compare someone who has $30 and they're using the entire capital to trade. Basically, the guy with $50,000 is not even, I mean, liquidation for him is, is not even unthinkable. So he can tolerate movements of the market like 10, 20% even, right? Up and down before he gets swapped out. For someone who has $30, man, you know, you, you, you don't really have much room to go around. So you don't have room for error. But then people forget this. They start acting as if there is, they have too much room when they actually don't. So it's better to be in touch with the amount of money that you have to make sure that you don't get derailed. So to demonstrate how this can be done, to start with an absolute small capital, I have created a plan for you and I to follow. The capital needed for you to be able to achieve this is $100. And why do I choose $100 before I show you the plan? I choose $100 and I'll show you the numbers also of how much risk we're going to be taking. The reason is based on our risk to reward ratio that I have chosen, but also to give you some room. So it's not that with this $100, we're going to be trading with the entire amount, but it's because based on strategy and level of market volatility, sometimes we might want to trade isolated. And in some times, we might want to trade margin, even though we don't want to lose the entire amount. So sometimes having a little bit more capital than you need helps in flexibility uh, to avoid unnecessary stops and liquidation in a volatile in a, in a volatile market all right so let's get into the screen so this is a challenge that you and i are going to do a hundred dollars starting and each and every morning i will be sharing a trade that i will be taking and we're going to be taking one trade and seeing our portfolio grow over time all right so this is uh the platform called trading view the link to this platform also is down in the description below. You definitely need it. It's free and it's really awesome. It helps you to do the charts and stuff like that. And I have my Bybit account right here. I have funded this account with $150. Well, I funded it with $100, but I have made uh, $50 when I was experimenting with it already. So I will withdraw the $50 I've made in profits. I'll remain with $100 so that you and I are in the same, um, are in the same place. All right. And um, the asset we're going to be trading here is going to be Bitcoin. And I've created a sheet here that will help us uh, guide us through in what's going to be happening. So it will be uh, based on multiple levels. Each level means each trade and capital means how much money we're going to put into place. And obviously it will be decreasing and increasing at every step, depending on how we are doing. So I'll put a hundred dollars here and here, how much risk we're going to be taking uh, at a time. We're going to be uh, risking $30, which is 30%. And our take profit goal um, before I talk about the take profit goal, I want to talk to you guys about the risk reward ratio. All right. So basically, this is how the risk reward ratio, uh, ratio works. If you're going to be risking um, one to make 10, you get a win rate of 9% or requirement to break even of 9%. And you realize that the more you reduce the reward, it also gives you a higher win rate. But, you know, the risk can be one, but it's all basically based on how much reward are you expecting from a trade. The, the base that I see is this one, three to one. It means you are risking $1 for a probability or a potential of making $3. And this gives you a win rate of 25% to break even. It means if you're profitable only 25% of the time, you're not really gonna necessarily going to lose money. You will be fine. But you look at uh, other areas of risk, like you know, risk of 1 expecting 10, you get a win rate of 9%. And that is very low. So you know, we're trying to eliminate all that, uh, keep it really uh, uptight. And... Um, here we have the close bar balance where we will be putting how much we ended up. So if we started with 100 and here we risk $30 and risk, we're going to do 3 to 1. 
Uh, this is a variable. It can change depending on market conditions and so on and so forth. And then after the trade has been closed, we'll be putting our trade balance right here. Here is our take profit goal. Uh, I would like us to aim for now uh, a 15% movement, which is five. If it's at a if it's at a five, if it's five and we trading, let's say on a three x leverage, it means five percent gives us fifteen percent movement um, on a leverage position, and then we can take profit on that. But this is also variable. I would like to make this one very strict, but it doesn't help with crypto that much because things are always in flux, uh, and these trades can be a uh, one trade at a time. We can be multiple trades i will be sharing those trades uh on twitter on twitter i will be sharing the results only so follow me on twitter i'll show you my twitter account on discord i will be sharing my actual trades that i am taking on so this is my twitter account make sure you go on there and follow me it helps uh, i'll be sharing the wins okay discord link is in the description as well Okay, so this is one thing that we can look at. And these are some of the notes that I've made. We will be using only isolated. We're not going to go with um, margin trading until we reach level 10. At level 10 and beyond, we can start using um, um, cross. And the whole point is that because we have a lot more capital to play that game that we have earned from profits instead of risking the capital itself from the get-go. And also, we'll be going for coins that are uh, low movement. So we will be using Bitcoin only in this experiment. Unless I have decided otherwise, I've seen an undeniable position. Maybe uh, as a trader, I have to take advantage. But principle is that we're using Bitcoin only. Because if you have, you're risking $30 at isolated, you don't want extreme volatility. Then it will wreck you even before your profit um, position enters. And now we probability, we're looking at a ratio of three to one. We have already discussed this. And now there are rules for us to follow. Um, you need rules to make your trades. Otherwise, if, if you don't let the rules dictate the trades, your emotions will. So to remove our emotions from this process, we just need to put some rules together. So rule number one that I have on the left here is what I call attack. These are rules of engagement when I'm entering a trade. What I call defense are rules that I use to exit a trading position. So here we got rule number one, low volatility coins only. Rule number two, monitor price action. Rule number three, engage in dead zone. What do I mean by this? By this too. Uh, monitor price action it means i'm checking volatility is this a good time to trade yeah it can be or maybe sometimes it's extremely volatile because of news or something that's happening it's better to stay away during those moments uh, we want volatility enough to give us the trades that we want but we don't also want too much volatility to kill us engage in de in dead zone it means if you are looking at uh yeah this is a one minute chart could help I just have to get a better one. So if you look at this, this is a one minute chart. And if we have to find a, um, some area of engagement here, it's definitely not. Um, it's definitely not right here in this candle, right? Uh, based on the strategy that we would devise, which I'll, I'll get to. You're looking at an area where there is no activity at all. So you're betting on, or at least you, your, your TA is based on an area that is dead, but it will get upcoming um, volume or upcoming action. You don't want to enter into the current action because it strikes your emotions very quickly and it becomes unsafe. So let's say you want to short this position. You want to enter before that level has been reached. Let's say I want to short here from the point of control. It means I have to put the trade way before. Or if I decide to long uh, when it hits, say, 17K, which is somewhere around here, then I need to make the trade right before. So that by the time it hits that level, I had already planned the trade instead of uh, playing uh, an emotional monkey and just going around up and down the market. So that's what I meant on that one. And um, set 
take profit and stop loss that is un, uh, un, non-negotiable basically if i'm trading with this kind of strategy i have to follow through and here we got take profit no matter what so if we say we're entering a trade and our take profit is 20 percent that trade and we hit 20 percent we're exiting it doesn't matter if you, if we think um well, you know, the Bitcoin keeps on going up and I, I think it's going to hit 20,000, whatever. It doesn't matter. We're closing the trade and I'm entering another. If I see another opportunity, I have to actually open another trade. Because if you don't close the trades, you become greedy. That's actually how you lose money and you create bias and then that wrecks you over time. You don't want that. And on the defense side, I will stop trading when the tra the trend is broken there's a broken trend if i get stopped i will also stop if there is emergency news out there that's going on that would definitely change the market um structure and the fundamentals have been affected i would definitely change my i would definitely get out of the market or change direction of the trade or when i feel exhausted you could trade you could start a good day of trading making a couple of trades it's all good and then maybe you had one trade that was cunning just to pull it off and it exhausts you. At that point, it's better to just stop. Or when you get emotional, you lost money and you're angry about it. You want to reverse trade or you maybe made a little bit of money and then you feel super excited about stuff and you feel like a god. George Soros already said this. If you feel like, uh, like a god on a trade, be sure that you will lose your money. You walk away with zero. So all are the things you, you have to, to put under consideration. Now, I will be using two strategies with this. Uh, doing some manual TA. I'll try to keep it simple as well. But most importantly, I will be using some indicators. Uh, so some of the indicators that I will be using, or at least uh, I should just pick two indicators for that matter. So in this case, I will be using the RSI and... Actually, I'll be using three. So it's the RSI. I'll be also using the volume. And I'm also going to be using the MACD. So those are the indicators that I will be. So I'll be doing manual TA and also mixing it up with all the other um, indicators that I just mentioned. So basically, growing a small account into a larger one is definitely possible. But it's more of a discipline game where you actually have to measure your performance surgically to actually look at every step that you're taking. But it gets, it can get confused as a strategy when you now, your, your head becomes bigger. Most people are okay making money at the beginning of their trading, right? They start a few trades, it's so good. And then their head becomes bigger, they screw up the strategy, they use a higher lot size than they're supposed to and they get too confident and they lose it all then it feels like you didn't actually grow anything. But the truth is that if you are disciplined enough and you have the process, the strategy, it's, this is a very good experiment because it makes you realize your weakness. Uh, if you look in the spreadsheet, I do have a tab for notes. In the notes side is where you write notes. Why are you entering the trade? And why, and why do you think it worked afterwards? And if you lost it, also you can put some notes on why you think you lost it and on and on. So this is the process that makes you a much bigger trader. And the discipline starts at the very beginning. It should start at the very beginning because if you don't master the discipline, it will be your enemy later on when you actually, um, when you make substantial amount of money that you're going to lose it all at once. Boom. Just like Sam at SPF, right? Sam at FTX. Made so billions of dollars, lost it all overnight. And that is the, the beauty and the ugly side of trading that, you have to check yourself at all times. All right. If you appreciate this video, like, subscribe, and most importantly, get a Bybit account down below. Sign up. Make your first deposit. Uh, you need to deposit USDT or Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency. If you don't know where to buy cryptocurrency, you have never bought it before. I also have a video below to help you get started uh, where to buy your crypto. All right. Everything I used in this uh, video is down in the description as well. And the link to my Discord also is down in the description below. Join the Crypto University Discord. You can ask questions. Uh, there are people there sharing charts and discussing different type of things, ideas, wins, losses. This, he, this is how you learn how to trade 
by seeing others uh, being generous enough to share what they are doing, right? So that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.